Hey Collective, I was just getting up on here and I just want to say, I hope everybody having a good day. Uh, for the divine ones, if you can go out, go out and sit in nature and uh, get you some downloads. Because uh, believe me, they dropping downloads. There's so many butterflies, dragonflies, hummingbirds, deers. Cardinals, bluebirds, everything all around me. I want to um, share something with y'all. And um, see, God got a way of doing things, right? So the person that God told me. To keep away from me because he was part of this bullshit. I said I was going to do that. So, he pulled up at my house, right? Like, you know, nothing ain't happened. I ain't talked to him in about since Easter. Okay. Okay. And now I already know what time it is, okay? I said, okay. And uh, he said, what you doing? I was like, nothing. Uh, you all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, did you call me? Mm -mm. And I have like a, uh, I have like a uh, record player. I'm getting rid of that record player. I'm getting rid of those albums because you know what? Out of everything that Tanya gave me, I held on to that record player and those albums. And something telling me, get rid of that motherfucking shit too. You hear me? Because I was told to get rid of everything. That she ever gave me, and I had, but and I got, I got rid of everything, and then I had a free garage sale, shit, and so I've been still having that. And, and some told me today, and I was like, I was in my room because I don't really listen to it, and I looked over there, I say I would sell that motherfucker, and uh, my antenna fell off the motherfucking wall. I said, mm, so. <laughs> And I'ma sell it. And so well, since he came over here, I say, Well shit, I was calling to see if you still want to if you really I, if you still wanna buy that uh, little record player and them albums, I'ma throw the i am I'ma sell the motherfucker for twenty five dollars. The re they got the old albums. I'm talking about uh, I might take the albums to motherfucking uh one of these stores because they old albums. They got the old album covers and everything. Mm-hmm. The Sister Sled, Shaka Khan, Teddy Pendergrass, George, they got they got the the uh, uh original uh, album covers to them. You understand? So hmm, I know I probably can get some money for those somewhere. They probably got a little value to it, but I don't give a damn. I just want them out of here, really. I sell the motherfucking albums for two dollars an album. Three. Three dollars. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about all of that. I just don't want. I don't want it around. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna end up selling it for a little bit of nothing. Well, anyway, back to the story. Back to the story. So he drove up. up he came in. I was like, he was like, well, uh, not really. I, you can keep it, but I got twenty dollars on me. Where you when you need something? I was like, she yeah, let's go to the store. You don't, I didn't, you know, I didn't ask him for nothing or nothing. I tried to sell something. See, this is what I'm trying to say. People try to get the game fucked up or get you fucked up. But check it out. So he said, I said, oh, yeah, then let's can, let's go to Walmart. Because if you go to Walmart, I can buy all the incense I want and my candles. And, baby, it ain't going to cost no more than $10 all that. But I went... I said, fuck it, no. All I really wanted was some candles, give me some more candles, and some more incense, you know, my lavender incense that I always get. So I went up to the Dollar Tree, and he gave it to me. Then he said, well, I went to the store, and I, I bought all this stuff. I don't really eat that stuff. Um, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I was like, well, if you want me to, I'll cook for you. You understand? I'll cook you something to eat. I'm that, I'm that type of person. And then uh, he was like, well, uh, 
you can I come over there and eat it? I was like, if I cook for you, you can eat it here, you know. He said, okay. So I went to his house, y'all, and he gave me all. I mean, he have a, he keep food, and he, I mean, he keep everything, right? And he gave me, I came up out of there with like four bags of motherfucking food. All kind of stuff, sweets and, and everything and everything. And uh, I say, uh, I come on back home and I was giving, I said, I'm going to cook. I'm going to change it. So what I said, I'm going to cook and I'm going to invite you over because, you know, you, you took me to the store. You know, I didn't ask for nothing, but I'm returning a favor, you know, to show you that I appreciate you. But I don't appreciate you with my pussy. I'm keeping it real on this channel. If you don't want to hear the truth, get the fuck off. Because I ain't up on here candy code nothing because I ain't got time to play. That's why I always say none of my videos are for, for people under 18, goddamn. So, anyway, I'm knowing, I, I'm feeling it. So, he was like, you want this, you want that, you want this, you want that. I'm like, yeah, I ain't going to turn down shit, you know. A blessing is a blessing. And then when God come to get, bring it to you, he'll send people to bring you blessings, goddamn it. Don't get it twisted. All right. So, anyway, that butterfly flying right for me. So, anyway, I I, I had said I was going to do uh, some pork chops, but I was going to cook them in the oven because I didn't want to fry them. And when I got home, I changed my mind. I said, well, maybe I'll cook hamburger help or, you know, some cornbread, make some pizza, uh, uh Brown style beans or pork and beans, either or, right? So, confirmation, I'm telling the truth. So, when he, I had forgot the milk, and I had told him, I said, Oh, I forgot the milk. Can you bring me the milk? Because you know you have to have a little milk. Pia, look at that lizard. Look, look. So, I don't mess with it. You can't even run them up, running them up under my feet, boy. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm scared of anything. Pia, Pia out here chasing the damn lizard. That's how he do them deers. Them, he run right up on them deers. They don't even do nothing to him. They be looking at him like, what the fuck wrong with you, nigga? We'll stomp your ass. But anyway, so he was like, oh, okay. Uh, I'll bring it, bring uh, the milk. So, he, and, and then also, you know, he, he had brought me some cookies, uh, peanut butter cookies from uh, Walmart. And I was like, oh, thank you. So he was, I was like, well, then, well, uh, when, when I, when everything get done, I'll call you and you can come eat. Y'all, guess what he said, man, this pissed me off. He said, uh, okay, when, when we get through eating, what we going to do? I said, what, what, what you mean? I'm, he said, uh, you know, uh, what we going to do, uh. I want, I want, oh, you know, I was like, we ain't going to do nothing. I say, uh, this is, haven't I told you already? I'm not, to, I'm not looking for no sugar daddy. I'm not to be nobody's sugar baby or none of that. If you're not doing it for me from the kindness of your heart or because like you quote, say, I'm the deacon of the church and this is our job. Well, if that's your job, you're doing your deaconly duties for the Lord. Okay, and the Lord didn't say, she, "Cause you do this for her, you gonna get some pussy from her." I've told him once. I've told him more than one time. I ain't no need to tell him no more. So, I, I'm straight up. I told him. I said, "I've told you that." I said, "I'm not fucking you. I don't want to fuck you. I'm not interested in you like that." I mean, you give everybody else rise. You say you're a good person. You you know if you you help people if they need it because you's a deacon of the church. I'm, I say so. The people that you helping, you fucking. But you're not fucking me. I already told you that. So it just go to show you. God will show you. Okay, okay. Gone on to test the water. I keep on telling you. I've already told you, and I've already said this to everybody, any man I come into contact with. If you're not looking for a relationship, and you're not looking for loyalty, or a good woman, or, or a one-on-one -on -one relationship, then ain't no need for us to waste our time, because ain't no need of us to be rolling around in the bed and doing all of this, and it ain't nothing coming out of it. Them days is over. I'm 57 years old, okay? I haven't never been married, ever in my life. 
So if I have to save my motherfucking pussy till it get cobwebs on the motherfucker, then I'll be a cobweb packing good pussy motherfucker. But it ain't gonna get no cobwebs on it. You better know that because I know how to go. I know how to make myself say ooh ow itchy ow mm mm mm. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> real talk and it's safe set understand me so if the need come and i feel like i want to get that nut or i want to i'ma get it i'ma get it shit i'm i'm saving myself for the next person that i i don't want to i don't want to be uh until the, the next person coming on, I'm fuck Tom, Dick, and Harry until God sending my divine message. I don't think so. So while we was in the kitchen, right? So when I told him, I said, if you looking for fucking, I'm not fucking you. And he walked out the door and didn't say nothing, right? So I called him on the phone. I said, so you walked out. I mean, like you gave me, you know, you, you gave me food and you gave me all of this. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm willing to cook dinner for you or you you don't want to eat he was like yeah but what we gonna do after we eat i said we ain't gonna do nothing he said well uh well then since you feel like that i don't feel like i need to be giving my money or helping you out i said well hold up wait a minute deacon let me tell you something i don't even i said uh thank you thank you for what you did give me and uh just know this we don't need to even communicate no more because um I done told you and told you and told you and told you and told you not one time, not two time, not three time, not four time, not five time that it wasn't going to happen. And I still stand on that. And it ain't nothing you can give me, nothing you can buy me or nothing you can bribe me with to change what the fuck I already said. I'm not a piece of pussy for nobody. And that's what I meant. You understand? Confirmation. P.I. get back. Oh. So, you know, I, I wanted to take everything and put it back in the bag and give it to him. But God said, uh-uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Because before he gave it to you and did all of this, he should have told you then. Well, I'm going to do this now. I want you to know. I'm doing this because I want some pussy. You understand? If he'd have been straight up like that, I would have been like, well, I tell you what, I don't need it. i wait. That's me. And I wouldn't it wouldn't have been no hard feelings about it. You understand? So just know when you think you're trying to play somebody or get over on somebody, God will still make you come through for that person and still make that person tell you it ain't it ain't gonna happen. Cause see, your intentions wasn't to help me from your heart or being a deacon of the church. Your intentions was helping me and giving me because you think you was going to fuck me. You ain't, ain't nobody fucking me. Ain't nobody in this town fuck me. I ain't been fucked in two and a half years. And when I get ready to have sex, it's going to be love making, baby. Not just fucking. And my pussy worth more than that little old bit of shit. And, not, and, and, and I'm not the type of person, oh, I want a $500 bag. I want to, hell fucking now, for $500, I can get 500 motherfucking bags. Are you serious right now? I ain't never been that type of person. I'm not a materialistic person. I'm not a whore. I'm not none of that. Understand? We all have our faults. We all been through things. I've been through a whole lot. I've come through a whole lot. I'm a motherfucking warrior. I'm a soldier. And I'm going to stay and believe in what I believe in. And one thing it is, I ain't the motherfucker let the people jump up and down in my pussy. I didn't do it when I smoked. And you damn, if you couldn't, if you didn't get no pussy from me when I was smoking crack, what the fuck you think you about to get now? <laughs> you might, you ain't even get to smell it, nigga. Real talk. I'm keeping it real up on this motherfucker. I ain't doing no motherfucking plan. Just be real with me. I'm going to be real with you. Because at the end of the day, like I said, all you had to say, well, yeah, I'll give it to you. But uh, I got, I'm gonna, whatever I do for you, uh, I, 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 I'm looking for some pussy. I mean, just straight up like that. You understand? Don't do it. And then say you was doing it because you want some pussy. Cause you ain't gonna get it. You weren't gonna get. You weren't gonna get it if you didn't do it, and you weren't gonna get it even though you did do it. Cause 
that that wasn't on my mind, period. Period. So with that said, y'all, I just want to get up on here and say, y'all go out in nature. Sit out in nature for a while. Chill out. Uh, you know, go out, get some sun. I was told that uh, when you go sit out in the sun and the sun, like, beam on you, like, sit out in the sun for, like, 10 minutes, you know, 15 minutes at the most, and let the sun just shine down on you, but shine down on your hair, on your head, baby, you get some knowledge up in that, okay? And when I, if I sit out here long, where well, the sun ain't shining, I do this morning, the shade is here now, and I'm glad. I can sit out here, and that sun hit my head, my hair be soaking wet, like just wet, like that, like I done grease my scalp. The sun don't bother me, it's the cold that bother me, but anyway, Y'all hear the birds chirping, the butterflies, the hummingbirds, the dragonflies, all kind of shit. I seen three or four deers up there, four or five aliens up there with the lights blinking off and on. I'm telling y'all, when I say I'm so goddamn protected, I'm motherfucking protected. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody believe. I don't care because I know what my eyes have seen. I know what my eyes do see, and I know what God showed me, and I know I am chosen, and I know this. I want my motherfucking shit, and whichever one of y'all went and changed that a bitch, that beneficiary to your name instead of mine, it's over for you. Give me my shit. Okay? I don't know where that came from. That was my mama and my daddy. I tell you, my mom and my daddy come visit me. I throw donuts out here. I throw motherfucking cookies. I throw bread. I throw rice. I throw the food over here for the animals. They got donuts. They got corn. I feed everybody. Let me tell y'all what the neighbor told me. She said, um, I came outside. She said she was outside. She said it was all the deers out here outside in the back of your yard. And she said, I was talking, she said, I told him, don't eat my plants. And I told her, I say, they're not going to eat your, they're not going to eat off your uh, roses anymore because I feed them, right? So, uh, she said, well, I came out and I seen them again and they did, they, they did not even come to my plants because I feed them. And I told him, don't eat her plants. Don't eat her roses no more. God, don't let them eat her roses no more. And she said, they don't even come. But see, at a certain time, I'm, I'm, in, a, in, I'm in my house. I don't come sit out here when it's dark and all of that because I know the animals like to come out and eat. And Pierre is the type, he'll run up to, you know, the other day he ran up on a motherfucking, uh, uh, what is that? Not a raccoon. Uh, armadillo, armadillo don't do nothing. Raccoon will beat his ass. Fuck him up. That's why I have to be careful with him. Because he don't know no better because he a sweet puppy. You know, he he love it. It's like when he ran up on them deer. I just knew them deer were going to stone my baby. They were looking at him like, what is, they, they, with their ears stuck up and heels stuck up and whatever, you know. So, I just want to get, girl, I see, I'm telling y'all, People think I'm crazy. I see aliens out here watching me. I ain't lying. Y'all probably think I'm crazy as fuck, right? But I'm not. And I live in the bushes. I wish I could turn the phone around and y'all could see the alien eyes. Like, they just lit up in the bushes like just lights. And they'll go up and go down, go up and go down. Right in this section. But that's why I sit outside a lot. Because I get a lot of downloads and everything. But I just wanted to get up on here and share with y'all and let y'all know your girl good and uh, to show y'all some love. And to all my subscribers that subscribe to my channel, I want to say thank y'all for coming over here, subscribing to my channel, and thank y'all for coming over here and staying. And I hope I'm helping somebody, and I hope uh, everybody be okay. You know what I'm saying? But I do wish y'all would hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Hit the like button or hit the dislike button. Either way it go, I know that, you know, I'm getting points for it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's good for my channel. You understand what I'm saying? And then a lot of y'all are not hitting the like button because y'all think it shows who you are. It don't. It don't. It just showed the like. Just hit the like button. 
it don't matter. You can even hit the dislike button. It don't show who you are. So hit that like button for your girl. And if you like my vibe, y'all know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.